It's Kill em. And we live on Kill em TV. I am your host, Kill em Castellano. Shout out to you first and foremost, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all, you know, taking time out to, you know, sit here and bust it up with me, man. It's a beautiful thing. But you know how I carry it, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's get right into it, man. Black Rob. What's up with you, boy? Shout out to Black Rob, man. He had a he had a a, a dope classic album. I'ma call it a classic, man. You got you got a it, it was a classic, man. He had bangers on that joint. Bangers on that joint. Can I Live was one of my favorites featuring the locks. They went off. Everybody went off on that joint. Um, Life Story is another favorite. Of course, well, like well, that shook up everywhere. It was crazy. Um, the joint with him, Little Kim, uh, I think it's called Espacio, something like that. Um, the joint with him and J Lo. Uh, yo, man, his whole joint was fire. It was a dope album. I remember I had, we had the cassette, you know what I'm saying? This is back when cassettes was out. Um, we were just was flipping that joint over, just kept flipping it, just playing it, you know what I'm saying? Just, it was a dope album, but, um, Shout out to Black Rob, man. Black Rob said he was second best on Bad Boy. By the way, this is on Gully TV. Um, shout out to Gully TV. Y'all could go over there, watch the full interview. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and check out everything that he was talking about. This is just something that I found interesting that I wanted to speak on um, and get y'all feedback on. So... Yeah, man, he said he was the second best. After Big, he said he was second. And Gully agreed with him. You know what I'm saying? And that's your opinion, Gully. I ain't got no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with that. Because we're not going to sit up here and forget about murder mates. I know people, you know, y'all, y'all, some might be introduced to the, to the Mr. Rogers welcome back mace. But, you know what I mean? Before that, it was murder mace. He said it in a line, he said, I was murdered. P. Diddy named me pretty. Did it for the money, now can you get with me? Like, Murder Mace was a problem. He was a problem, you know what I'm saying? And his first, both of his albums went platinum, double platinum, triple platinum, whatever. He was a problem, you feel me? Um, we're not gonna forget about Mace. We're not gonna sit here and forget about the locks. You know what I'm saying? Styles, Kiss. Sheik Looch. Now some people count Sheik out. They they don't really acknowledge Sheik like they should. But you know, I always was tuned in to Sheik um since we are the streets. I'm not gonna say early on, but I would say around We Are the Streets, I really tuned in to Sheik. You know, what I mean he was killing them on the mixtape side when um D Block and G Unit was going through it, he was crushing them. Sheik is a problem, man. Don't sleep on Sheik. Anyway. Um, what do y'all think, man? This is more so just to figure out what y'all think. If y'all even know who Black Rob is, if you don't, go back and tune in, man. His album, uh, Life Story was dope. And it's a classic. I'm going to say it's a classic. I mean, so y'all tune in, check that out. But, um, as far as the bad boy roster goes, I mean, you got Shine, you had Loom, um, but me personally, for me, I would say 